Hello Ratbags, it's Jay, the home of Survival Games, and today a special video taking a look at Grounded, the future for 2021. What to expect, what features are planned by Obsidian and developers, and what do I think best guesses are for some of the content that's incoming as well. I also want to talk about what I see them needing to add, a little few things that I think could improve the game if they get in a little bit quicker. So, don't forget to like, make sure you subscribe, and let's go with Grounded 2021. So if you don't know, Grounded have already listed their features board, which has all the upcoming content and some of the content that they're working on. Now this features board isn't always kept up to date and there's definitely a lot more stuff added that we end up getting in the updates that the devs kind of hold back or don't want to spoil every single piece of it. They added this a good few months ago though and it's another great sign from these guys that they really want to show their community what they're working on, a little bit at least, and give you a heads up of what to expect. And so we can use this as a rough tool to show exactly what's coming and then I'm going to talk to you about when I think some of this stuff is actually going to appear based on the updates we've already had. Do note, I'm not a complete mind reader, I haven't spoken to Obsidian, so some of this stuff I may say is just my opinion, but again, based on all the updates we've had and some of the stuff I've covered, I think this is my best guess of when we can expect some of this content, and if you're brand new to it, you didn't realise that any of this was coming, hopefully it'll give you a bit of a heads up. So we've just had the second part of the Pond update. Five million players are playing Grounded at the moment, a huge amount of people, and they've definitely took on some feedback that said the Pond was just a bit too easy. They've added some more areas, they've made it more challenging to go and activate the special laboratory underwater, and I think that's definitely was needed. But there's still some work to do by the looks of things. There are still some areas that don't seem to be fully fleshed out, or you can't even access them at the moment. There's a few of these little caves, and they're not very long or big, but there's definitely a couple of them that don't have anything inside, so then maybe they've been there as earmarked for later on, but definitely that's going to be added something to it too in the future, and I'm predicting that water update version 3 will happen at the end of January, and that will be our next big update, the first one of 2021. Originally the devs said they were trying to get updates out at the end of every single month, and for the first few months they kept to that. But obviously because some of these updates needed more work or they took on board the feedback, they went and done some more work to it and so it does mean that kind of progress has slowed. If you don't know, there's only around 15, maybe 17 people working on Grounded and they've got no plans to upscale it. I do wish they kind of would, but that's what they've said. They're not going to increase their team and so we can expect Grounded to be in early access for probably another year and a half. I fully predict that we won't see a full release for Grounded until at least 2022. Anywho, back to my point, you can see this area also isn't being fleshed out completely. You can't access this room and there is a button to be pressed inside, so I do think that the water area is going to need another revamp or possibly it's been saved for much, much later in the game to coincide with something else, but I think we're still going to see some additions and some changes made again. There is again another area where you can enter into some of the laboratories and this eventually takes you into the deeper sort of area where you can access the proper underwater lab, the big one. So lots to work on still and I think this is going to take up their time during January and that's what we'll see at the end of January. After that I think we're going to start seeing things like bees and mosquitoes added at the end of February. We've had the roses here a while and we know from some of the trailers and the promo marketing that bees were pictured in and around this area. So it does look like this is going to be their habitat and where we're going to need to come and get them so we can get their bee fuzz to make the bee armour and the bee stinger. Now I've shown you guys many times in different leak videos I was the first person to show the underwater section and all the underwater armour and weapons months and months ago that we were in fact getting the bees and they were flying around being a bit derpy but you can't spawn them in anymore the only thing that you can do is spawn in the stuff versions hanging from something like a base but they look pretty cool I think they're going to have more work done to them I don't think this is their final form I think there will be some new adjustments made to them they obviously be guarding a lot of the pollen that you maybe get from the roses and they're not going to be dangerous unless you attack them or possibly steal that pollen. They are going to be neutral creatures that won't hurt you unless you hurt them. When we take a look at the features board, anything in blue is currently in progress. So we know that the bees are closer than some of the other stuff. Likewise, so the mosquitoes. Now I'll cover the mosquitoes in a second, but I don't think we're going to necessarily see them added at the same time as the bees. I think they'll be a little bit later. So 
at the end of January, I'm predicting bees and I'm predicting some of this other stuff like extra additional crafting stations, improvements to inventory management, as well as the ability to not have to hold your armor sets in your inventory, you'll be able to have free space to carry more resources. I'm also predicting that password protected games is going to be part of that as well. I think the mosquitoes will end up coming at the end of February, maybe even March. Likewise, additional burgle quests, I don't think that will be put into the game until then either. There's a very simple reason for that. The bees have kind of been in the game a while. We've had the models, the stuff version. We've had the armor pieces that you could go and get, like the rotten pieces in the ant hill. And we've recently had the bee stinger added to the T-Rex. But the mosquito, we haven't really seen too much of the pieces. We haven't seen any rotten versions of the weapon, although I'm going to show you what it can do in the future. And obviously the model for it was pretty unfinished a few months ago. This is just like the blank canvas with just the animations. The colouring hasn't been finished on it and it definitely could undergo a lot more changes. So it might look completely different. It reminds me a little bit of how the lava were pretty much just white ants back in the first beta version. But I'm expecting the mosquito to have this kind of shape. But yeah, definitely some of this stuff to be different colours. This has just not been touched up yet. So I think they also said they were having trouble with flying creatures. They want the flying creatures in the game to cause you problems so that you can't just build your base up high and never get attacked or raided. In the future, that is going to be a part of the gameplay is having base defences against bugs. We already know that the ants will go and attack you or try and take your food. But it looks like in the very far distant future, creatures like wasps will also come and attack you your base and so yeah that will be something we've got to bear in mind but I think mosquitoes are going to be a creature a bit like a spider that will find here and there but not necessarily going to be coming and attacking your base all the time I think these guys are way too big for that but I could be wrong maybe it'll be like a wave thing but you can see the animations for it it's just not completed yet it's definitely a bit derpy and this is from a good few months ago so progress has been made on the mosquito needle and that's the weapon that you're going to be able to make with it. It shows here there isn't a model for it properly, but in the most recent update there is. I literally recorded this video just a few days before the end of 2020 and you can see that the needle now has a proper model. You can see in the past as well that it needed just the mosquito beak and blood sack and some silk. We've now added the proper silk rope and berry leather to it as well. But the biggest news is that it's got lifesteal, which is a brand new perk, which I'm guessing is going to take away life and give you back some when you're fighting creatures. So far, there's nothing been revealed either about any sort of mosquito armor. It looks like this is really the only weapon that you can make using the mosquito parts. But I'm still predicting that this won't be here until the end of February, maybe March. The way Obsidian have been doing stuff, they've been dropping big updates, then maybe taking like a month and a half, nearly two months to finalise stuff, add new features to that big update and just make sure that it's all working correct. They had some teething issues where lots of saves were getting corrupted and lots of problems with transferring from the test live server to the base game. And I think that's pretty much going to be all behind them. So hopefully they can just concentrate on adding new content and they won't get bogged down. But yeah, I'm predicting that at the end of January we'll have the bee armor set, the full bee armor set, not the rotten stuff, which gives you the fuzzy cushion perk, which means you can take pretty much no full damage. And that's going to be a super useful feature. It also extends your sprint. So again, that's all been newly added to the armor set. So we kind of know exactly what the armor sets are going to do. And that's why I think that's going to be in the game first. There was also something else I showed you guys a while ago, which is a marksman's cap, but it's actually a wizard's cap, and it's spawned in or called a wizard's cap when you spawn it in. That looks like that will be added in, in the future too, and since it only takes maybe crow's feather to make, I think we'll see that very soon as well. Another exciting reason that we're going to see bee fuzz being added is that we'll finally have the fist wraps, or I call them boxing gloves. Now we can make some with just berries, but you can also make them with ant parts as well. And so these are going to be really good. I think this will be some way for people to play as a melee style character. Literally having no weapons, and hopefully that goes with one of the perks that gives you better uh, attack damage when you use no weapons. So again, these have been in the game a while when you use some of the modding software to take a look through the items that are coming. And it looks like it's not necessarily going to be that high level. It's just a case of adding them properly to the game. So I'm predicting that we'll see these added also maybe at the end of January, possibly February. 
And since we're looking at weapons, one thing that's going to be, be further off is the Dragonfly Slayer. So this means that Dragonflies will be added to the game, in my opinion, because you're going to need this sword to take them on. But I think if we do see a Dragonfly, it's going to be like a boss-like creature. Dragonflies are huge. like They are massive compared to like a Mosquito normally. So I would fully expect this to be a boss creature, and the only way to defeat it is by combining the Steel Gum, which we don't know how or where we're going to get that. It's looking likely to be some sort of bubble gum with a beast thing to make the dragonfly slayer at the moment it doesn't even have a model so that's some way off i don't expect to see that for another four or five months but i'm really pleased to see that mosquito needles got its model so yeah i'm expecting to see that in february so after that we've got like march april may and this is when we're going to start seeing things like the firefly roller poly and the end of act one and it says here full completable story so i'm guessing it will be contained in that way I, if it's going to be the full completable story that seems a bit weird when we've got so many other things to add so don't understand why it says it that way and it says act one i presume that means we're going to get act two and act three like I said, they're going to be in early access a long time, but that's what they've put as blue, so that's the stuff that's in progress. I guess they're working on them story beats at least. What isn't blue is aphids or pets. We know that aphids are coming as a pet, and we think that maybe ants are going to be a pet in the future. Well, since we've got the ant pheromone and the ant queen, it looks like you're going to have to maybe kill the ant queen to get the pheromone so that you can then control the ants. We know we've got other stuff like high tier weapons and armors. I think that goes without saying. And more additional ant hills are going to come. When they had the beta running, it seemed like some of the ant hills were different and changed. So I fully expect them to see adding even more to them. And we're going to have pet enhancements. So I'm guessing that if you have a pet, maybe it will give you another little perk or a buff. Now, no one's seen any of the models for the roly poly, and we haven't seen any of the other stuff like what could possibly be Act 2. We're still a bit confused about how Act 1's going to finish off. Now you've got power to the underwater laboratory. Now we've got power to the hedge laboratory. Next up, I guess, is either the haze or the sandbox. So I don't think we're going to see roly polies or fireflies added until maybe sort of April or May. Of course, we do know what the Firefly looks like. You were able to spawn it in previously in some of the sort of cheated software before they nerfed it, and we know you can get a stuffed one. Again, though, a bit like the Mosquito, the model for this is definitely going to be changed, or it's going to have a lot more colour added to it. This is kind of just like its first attempt or first base version. We also know that the Firefly, we're going to need it to make the headlamp, the one with the glowing red eyes, and that's going to be really useful for going into dark, dark places. But again, I think that's really far off. I don't expect to see that until sort of May or April. I think the Firefly and the Roly Poly will be added in as part of the, either the sandbox or the haze environment. Although they say they're work in progress already, I think that's purely put there because we were spawning stuff in a good few months ago. But yeah, I expect the, maybe the haze to come first. I think that would make the most sense since it's kind of nearly complete. There's lots of areas already that you can go and explore in the haze. Now, obviously, all subjects are changed. We know it probably will go massive changes. When you think of how much the pond has changed in just a short space of few months, I definitely think the haze will change massively too. We've got the giant weed killer can, and it does look like there's going to be some sort of tech chip nearby, which you can get to upgrade or unlock brand new blueprints. And we've got these weird power cables or sewage cables here as well. So it looks like that's going to be a big part of something. Maybe there'll be a little mini boss floating around this area too. Maybe this will be where roly polies are. But I don't know, I feel like this is kind of reserved for infected creatures like the weevils and the mites. We've got the underwater laboratory, or I should say the underground laboratory, here as well. And again, this would all probably go through some changes, but I've shown this off before. We've got the infected weevil here too. And then we've got like a big red button with two monitors above it, but there's no switch like in some of the other areas like the hedge where we're kind of restoring power. So it does look like that or this could be part of stage two or part of act two. It does feel to me that Act 1 has all been about restoring power and flipping all three switches in the hedge, in the underwater, and of course the oak tree. So again, yeah, I'm not expecting the haze to be done until sort of April, May, and I think the sandbox is going to be even further. We've got nothing about the sandbox, other than there used to be a castle, but it looked like a placeholder. Now it's just filled with a trowel. What could possibly be here? It's quite a large space. It's quite hard to get over to as well. So I don't think we're going to see anything done with the sandbox and sort of till maybe June or July. And that's coming up to the one year anniversary of Grounded. This could be a good spot to maybe add the roly polies, who knows, or maybe this will be where we'll find the firebugs. 
The only fly in my ointment is that it lists the sandbox as first before the haze, but I still think the haze is more fleshed out, so it kind of makes more sense. After that, it's anyone's guess. Like, the purely speculation based on nothing that's been actually mentioned is that we've obviously got the shed area. That would be a good place for roly polies. And then we've got this place, which I think will end up being where the wasp nest is going to be. I think we need to get here. We've got to use the power of the magnifying glass somehow to get something or craft something only using that power of sunlight. But nearby, we're going to have the wasps to make it a bit more dangerous. And I think a wasps in a tree stump is a good location for it. I don't think we'll see any additions to things like the picnic bench or the shed proper until maybe sort of September, October. The way they've been developing it, I think it will be that slow before we see these areas. And the big huge area next door to it, I don't think we'll see anything done with that until October or November. Now the devs have said they've got maybe some ideas about the house, but nothing concrete yet. So I don't think we're going to be going into the house this year. I don't think that will be anywhere near added to the story until next year. So literally 2022 when the game might come out of early access. I think things like the aphids or pet systems won't be added to the game until maybe April, May, possibly even later than that, as I said, based on how they've gone about things. They normally need a good amount of weeks to sort stuff out and hotfix stuff after they've added an update. So I just can't see them being that quick with some of this stuff. And I think having pets following you around, that would be pretty challenging to get right and make sure that they're moving around correctly, they're not being weird, and they do actually benefit you and give you some sort of perk. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys think I'm mad by saying this, but I don't think we're going to see any other environments added, any bigger creatures or insects added, or weather, or any of this other stuff that's listed until way until September, October next year. I just think it's going to take that long to get what we already kind of see added. I can't see them adding any future stuff until then. So I won't hypothesize too much on what other environments get added or what other creatures. I wouldn't say that I'd like to see some caterpillars and for sure I would love them to add something more like a creative mode. A little bit off topic but I did say I wanted to give you guys what I think they should add. We need a proper creative mode. One that has actual creatures in it so we can play, we can test stuff and not just run around an empty world. It seems kind of pointless. Also, the ability to spawn all this stuff in instead of me having to use mods or software to activate all this just only on PC. It'd be nice if you could do this on Xbox. And then finally, things like power for buildings and backyard changing events and more control over world options and all that stuff, I don't see that coming until the end of 2021. We know we've got a grinder already in the game that you can spawn in. It's just like a base little red model, but we don't know exactly how it works. It like it's just a world item or something very early prototype, but I still can't see that being made use of until much later on. If they do have power, it kind of signifies that we're going to have a higher building tier, so that will be some sort of metal structure or something that's activated by electricity. So hopefully that means we'll have lots more traps. We know we've got lots of various different traps still to come, and that's what I'm really excited for. That's the kind of stuff that I'll be looking that towards the end of 2021 where we're actually making our bases defensible against creatures like wasps like loads of ants with different types of traps that i've shown off in the past i haven't been included in this video but you can go check them out where i show off things like the icicle or ice layer that you can put down or the honey trap that you can put down as well as things we know there's going to be turrets that are being worked on as well and some sort of electrifying orb I could literally spend all day going over all the stuff we can see when I've used the mod packs to look into the game files and I will do this a little bit more again but I kind of just want to stop it there because a lot of the stuff could change, they may cancel items and certain things but I think that is a really good breakdown of everything we know that's been shown off in the past, everything the devs have officially told us via the feature board and kind of guessing based on what they've already done when we can expect to see some of this stuff. If you like this video let me know, if you want to see more grounded content let me know and I'll be back as ever for more breaking grounded news and showing you the best of the brand new updated content in 2021. I'll see you ratbags later.